Dr. Paul Hutchison. Take a very short call on this important and timely and timely natural health products bill. And it's great that National has been able to work with the Greens to finally get this bill on into the uh, into the Parliament. And I must say, Mr. Speaker, this is a very important area. The Natural Health Products Registry estimated in 2011 a billion dollars worth of exports, 150 million of Manuka honey. <coughs> what is important, Mr. Speaker, is that these products are safe that any regime makes sure that there is no harm. I think it is important that people do understand the regulatory impact statement and also are aware that there will be a five-minute review. Finally, there are some challenges that I think will be important for the Select Committee to grapple with. Firstly, the definition of what a natural health product is. Um, they are defined in the bill among other things, as to bring a health benefit, and that implies with it that, will be, that there will need to be some degree of proof. Other challenges include the Y262 claims and, of course, how we fit in with the Trans-Tasman uh, 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 arrangements. So, Mr Speaker, there will be some very interesting challenges for the Select Committee to grapple with I believe this is a timely and highly worthwhile bill that has had its genesis over 20 years according to the regulatory impact statement and I commend it to the House. Chris Farfoy. Mr Speaker, thank you very much for the opportunity to speak to this bill. Um, it's very interesting, the choice of words by Dr Paul Hutchison there, the use of the word timely. Timely? <laughs> Quite laughable because of... We have wasted five years in this parliament while the National Party over there, while the opposition was flapping its arms around saying a trans-Tasman agreement on this issue was bad, evil, what have you. We've wasted five years. And then all of a sudden, when they get into office in 2008, they cosy up with the Greens and all of a sudden this is the best thing we've ever seen. The best thing we've ever seen. So when Mr Hutchison says that this bill is timely, we could have been here five years ago doing this right now, but the National Party decided to play politics of, in it, with it. And I'll just uh, reiterate the words of Michelle Beckett, Executive Director of Natural Products, which my colleague uh, Grant Robertson used earlier, that the National Party is using this as a political football to be leveraged to any political advantage. And to say that this is timely is just, Mr Speaker, quite laughable. Having said that, Mr Speaker, uh, we do support uh, this bill and uh, we will support it to the Select Committee. Um, we do do that with uh, a number of reservations um, and our reservations echo a number of the concerns that uh, were picked up uh, by the Ministry of Health in their regulatory impact uh, statement um, and one of those concerns was around uh, the inadequacy of the scheme to be rigorous enough um, and therefore uh, to be up to date with uh, international best practice and the robustness of uh, the, uh, the scheme in terms of uh, the, being able to guarantee that the products were safe and true to claim and also that it would be recognised by uh, um, some of our trading partners and whether it not, would not it would be up to that, that level of scrutiny. Um, and we believe that, that uh, by seeing that to the Select Committee, we can try and iron out some of those concerns uh, that were um, held uh, in that regulatory impact statement. Um, there's also some concern... Uh, in that statement around uh, the, little, uh, the small amount of information that is actually known around natural health products. And we think if we're going to introduce a regulatory framework around here, that we do need to know the size of it, we do know, need to know what's going on within the industry, um, to get an idea of, uh, as uh, uh, Grant Robertson said before, uh, the costs involved in uh, uh, bringing in these regulations, and also some of the constraints uh, that uh, may be put on the Ministry of Health as it uh, um, polices, uh, uh, polices these regulations. Um, on that aspect, we do welcome a proposal uh, to uh, phase in some of the uh, regulations uh, to collect information and also, also to see which products are out there in the market at the moment um, and also to figure out what kind of fees and levies can be charged um, over time because, as we say, uh, there will be significant cost um, uh, within this bill uh, to make sure that uh, it achieves what it will achieve and we hope it does achieve. Uh, Mr Speaker, the most important thing about, uh, about this bill um, is the health and safety of New Zealanders and uh, it's been noted that a lot of these uh, natural health products do claim to have 
uh, quite significant therapeutic qualities or benefits. Um, having a look through some of the uh, um, some of the information around it, I was quite surprised what little regulation there and oversight there is at the moment around some of the ingredients that are going into some of these natural health products. Um, since 1980, since the legislation that currently uh, polices uh, this area was introduced in 1985, there are uh, quite a significant, significant amount of additives that have come into existence that are going into these things, and I think that we do need to make sure there is significant oversight. Given the nature of some of these things, um, we're talking about pills and tablets and syrups and powders, uh, all claim to have some positive effect on health. Um, so it is surprising um, that we uh, do have little oversight and it is, again, a little uh, disappointing that we could have done this five years ago um, but this has not been done. Um, especially when you consider some of the ailments or illnesses that some of these things are claimed uh, to be able to, uh, to look at. Um, we're looking at uh, things like arthritis, uh, psoriasis. Uh, some even go into manuka honey, of course, has some uh, therapeutic qualities, I'm told. Um, but uh, I guess when we're looking at some of these uh, very serious um, illnesses and some of the, the nature of some of these products, uh, we do need some public scrutiny around uh, the ability of this bill to, to meet its purpose, and that's why we will be select, um, supporting it to select committee. <coughs> Sue Kedgley. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Well, the Green